ways that we can be um, responsible to the fact that uh, we are in different times. And uh, I've said it before uh, during a kind of an organizational meeting amongst leadership. I think, I think it's incumbent on us uh, to um, be mindful of people's time and the uh, inefficiencies of this medium in terms of including the public. And uh, um, I, can't, I can't imagine doing the amount of bills that we did last year uh, and doing them justice. And I can't imagine leaving things like dealing with municipal solid waste to a year, a year from now or two years from now. And so one of the advantages of taking advantage of the COVID environment to my mind is that we could really try to get our arms around some of the larger issues in the state. Um, that means I got to let my smaller issues go. That's what I'd be inclined to do. So thank you. Uh, I look forward to working with each and every, every one of you and I'm happy to hear that the, that the method message of the day is that we're going to listen to each other. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Miner. And yes, I think, we, you know, as I said before, we've been fortunate to always work really well together and in an incredibly bipartisan fashion on this committee. Um, and it's one of the things I love so much about the Environment Committee. And so I hope uh, that continues. And um, I know um, I, I share those sentiments with the rest of the leadership of the committee. Um, so uh, Madam Co-Chair, would you like to introduce uh, your Vice Chair and Ranking Member? Uh, yes, I would like to introduce, we will start, uh, since we are so bipartisan, with Representative Steve Harding returning, and uh, so glad to see him back. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you, Chair, uh, Chair Borer, and I'm looking forward to working with you. I, I, I did enjoy working with uh, Chairman um, D'Amico, but I'm really looking forward to working with uh, yourself, and uh, I think uh, you're going to, you said you have big, big uh Shoes to fill, but I think you're gonna you're gonna fit them just fine. I think you're gonna do great, and I'm looking forward to working with you. Um, I also am looking forward to working with um, uh, all the chairs and vice chairs uh, once again. Uh, very familiar faces to this committee, um, and so uh, we should be off to a very quick start and a very uh, obviously a very difficult year. Um, I, I really think uh, Craig, Craig mentioned it. Uh, Senator Miner mentioned it when he mentioned Candlewood Lake. I mean that is something that is very uh, uh, important, important to me, and, and I think important to a lot of people on this um, committee, uh, just based upon geographical region and, 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 and what a resource it is to our local communities and our districts. Um, but I think, you know, water quality is something that's important to everyone uh, on this committee. And, and in my experience, it really is uh, really top of mind when we address issues here uh, on the Environment Committee. And so I'm looking forward to, to working in a bipartisan manner with, with all the members. Uh, and ensuring that uh, the quality of, of waters throughout our state um, uh, continue to, to maintain its beauty and its, and its health. Um, and so I really leave it at that. I look forward to working with everybody once again in a very difficult and very different year, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic about what we'll be able to do on this committee. So thank you very much, Chair, and really looking forward to working with you in the House. Thank you, thank you. Representative Harding and uh, our next speaker, I couldn't think of anybody uh, better to work side by side with than Representative Gresko, who he and I have known each other a long time and he's been providing just a wealth of information to me in the past couple of weeks and I really appreciate it, Representative Gresko. Good morning, everybody. And uh, thank you for uh, asking to be on this committee. Um, uh, congratulations to Christine and uh, to Dorinda for uh, the getting uh, chairmanships of the committee. We look forward to working together and, uh, and advancing our, our uh, agendas forward as far as uh, whether that's a, uh, a truncated agenda will remain to be seen as we struggle to get through this uh, all. But, um, you know, we, we also had the opportunity to, to take a pause and, and see how we how we uh, uh, take care of ourselves and uh, take care of our planet going forward. So, um, you know, I've, I've uh, been, been uh, heartened to see how uh, the energy uh, industry has, has uh, uh, kind of taken uh, the lead on this and 
calling the sustainable and uh, renewable route uh, with abandon. And I'm hoping that, uh, you know, in the, on the environment committee, we can, we can uh, continue the, the uh, evolution uh, going forward, but uh, look forward to working with everybody. And uh, I would be remiss to say that uh, it was a pleasure for me to be the vice chair for uh, Mike D'Amico over the past couple of years. Um, um, great guy. Uh, and thank you for letting me do what uh, uh, you let me do uh, as, uh, as vice chair and uh, uh, concentrate on a few bills. Um, so uh, much appreciated. And uh, as we go forward, uh, you'll see that this, this uh, committee pretty much uh, is uh, uh, very much listening to each other and uh, learning from each other. You know, you get the question, why do you want to be a legislator? Uh, well, it's uh, the free education. Uh, you know, you, you hear... Um, you hear opinions and experiences from all the other people across the state and, uh, you know, which would cost a fortune if you had to pay for it. So um, I look forward to working with everybody. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Representative and, and truer words have never been spoken. So what uh, I'd like to do now is we'd like to uh, go through the membership of the committee. We really wanna make sure that everybody's introduced that we are one of the larger committees with uh, 33 members and recognize that all of us have multiple Zooms. Probably some of you have um, multiple Zooms going right now. Um, and so in an effort to um, get through and make sure everybody has a chance to say hello, if you could just um, provide us with your name and your district number um, to say hi, I'll go through the list uh, and, and read off your name and uh, just uh, say hello and, and provide us with your district. Um, so um, first on my list is Representative Amy Berger Gervalo. Do I have that right, Amy? Nailed it in the first. Oh, good. Cup. Look at that. Happened. Welcome. <laughs> I'm the 111th in Richfield. Great. Welcome. Um, and next we have Representative Betts, new to the committee, but a longtime member of the legislature. Representative, are you on? Don't see Representative Betts. Um, Representative Callahan, new to the committee and new to the legislature. Good morning. Thank you for recognizing me. Uh, I am from the 108th district, which is a little sliver of Danbury, New Fair, most of New Fairfield. I share it with uh, Representative Gucker, uh, Sherman, and uh, a little bit of New Milford, which uh, Senator Minor and I work together on. Thank you for having me on the committee. I look forward to the education. Terrific. Welcome aboard. Uh, next up is Representative Brandon Chafee. Chaffee? Yes, Chafee. Thank you. Yeah, okay. my name is Brandon Chafee. I'm from the 33rd District, which is half of Middletown. Great. Welcome. And uh, Representative Mike D'Amico. Uh, th thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I, I appreciate, I really do appreciate all the kind words. I, I, it, was, it was really an, an enjoyment and a pleasure to be chair of this wonderful committee uh, for the last four years. And uh, it, I really appreciate all, all, the, all the friendships and, and all the uh, great relationships that we, we built up over the years. And, and I, I know that the committee is in great hands, uh, not because I'm on the committee, but because we've got uh, new leadership, some new leaders and some returning leaders, and we've got great members and it, it's, we're going to do interesting work, have robust debates, and have good legislation, as always. So really, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Glad to be back. Thank you. Uh, we're glad to have you, Representative, and a uh, longtime Environment Committee member and advocate, uh, Representative Pat Dillon. Representative Dillon on. Good morning, Senator. Uh, Good morning, committee. Congratulations uh, to everyone. Um, I'm excited to be back. I represent the west side of New Haven, the 92nd district, which includes the West River and uh, Edgewood Park uh, and a lot of other things. I'm, uh, I'm excited about the challenge of being on two Zooms at once. I didn't think it would happen. So I'll be leaving to run upstairs back to judiciary. Usually I just have to run next door. So it's gonna be a challenge this session, but I'm excited about the 
the talent and the drive and the knowledge of the people on this committee. And I think even in a difficult pandemic, there's a lot of good things we can do. Thank you, Representative. We're glad to have you back. And also returning uh, with us is Representative Doug Zubitsky. Representative Dubitsky, I thought I saw you. Maybe he had to hop off. So okay. Senator, uh, he, he, just, oh. he just left, I noticed. Um, okay. And I think uh, Representative Betts is trying to get into the meeting. So I don't know if uh, he's okay. in the waiting room or okay. what Perhaps, the case is uh, there. Guy is able to help with that. Um, and next we have uh, Representative Craig Fishbein, who is not new to the legislature, but definitely new to the committee. Representative Fishbein, is he here? I don't see him. Hard to scroll through everybody. I think he's busy at Judiciary. Okay. Oh, I see uh, Representative Dubitsky is back on. Representative Dubitsky, do you want to introduce yourself? I see you just were able to get back in. Oh, I think you're on mute, Representative. You're still on mute. Are you able to unmute yourself? I am there unmuted. Yeah. Okay. I can hear you now. Uh, I'm Doug Dubitsky. I represent the 47th district, which is the towns of Chaplin, Hampton, Scotland, Lebanon, Lisbon, Canterbury, Sprague, Norwich, and Franklin. Uh, I represent a huge swath of uh, Eastern Connecticut that uh, we certainly have a big piece of environment out there. And um, I look forward to working with the committee this year. Great, thank you, Representative. Uh, next, a returning member, Representative Ken Gucker. Is Representative Gucker out there? Don't see him. There we oh, go, no. we got that. Do I see him? There he is. Uh, thank you, for, uh, Madam Chair, for all of this. Uh, I'm happy to be back to the one committee that I always have always asked to be on, which is environment. Uh, I want to thank, I want to uh, welcome uh, a couple of new people that I that I serve with. I represent the town of Ridgefield, Danbury, and New Fairfield in the 138th district. Uh, Representative Pat Callahan, who has a lot of history with Kendawood Lake, as he used to be on the Kendawood Lake Authority. Uh, and also Amy Berger Javallo uh, from Ridgefield. Uh, to, uh, so we have the uh, Danbury delegation together. We have a new Fairfield delegation, and now we have a Ridgefield delegation uh, to work with. Uh, and uh, as it's been said earlier, yes, Kenwood Lake is very well represented. We have the largest lake in, in uh, Connecticut. Uh, one of, also with being one of the largest comes one of the most endangered. So if COVID behaves itself this spring, I will invite all of you and, and Representative Harding already knows of this uh, to the help clean up Candlewood Lake uh, thing that's done every year. Uh, everybody will get a nice free boat ride, free lunch and help keep uh, one of our most precious resources uh, clean and uh, healthy to use. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Good seeing you again. Thank you. You as well, Representative. Uh, and next is a new member, Representative Cindy Harrison. Representative Harrison, are you out there? I'm here. Hi, Hi. welcome. Thank you. Um, so I represent uh, the 69th district, which is Bridgewater, Roxbury, South Ferry, and uh, Washington. And happy to be here and equally will face the challenge of having to do two Zoom meetings at the same time. So <laughs> bear with me, thank you. Thank you, appreciate that. Yeah, that's something that we're all having to get used to these days. Uh, next up is uh, my friend and colleague, Senator Will Haskell. Good morning, everybody. And thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for your incredible leadership of this committee. Glad to see you uh, in, in leadership once again. My name is Will Haskell. I represent the 26th District in the State Senate, the town of Ridgefield, Reading, Bethel, Wilton, Weston, Westport, uh, and New Canaan. Excited to be back and looking forward to all the work that lies ahead. Great, glad to have you back. Uh, Representative Jack Hennessy, new member to the committee, not new to the legislature. Hi, thank you very much for this opportunity to say hello. Uh, I'm Jack Hennessy, 127th district representing Bridgeport. 
happy to be back to the Environment Committee. It's been a while. Looking Great. forward to doing a lot of work. Great to see you. Uh, you. And returning member, Representative Maria Horn. Good morning, Madam Chair, and um, welcome back to the committee and, and welcome to new co-chair uh, Bohr. I'm really excited to working with both of you and all the returning uh, members here, as well as fresh faces. I think that's a really ideal um, combination for us. I represent the 64th district, like, like uh, Representative Dubisky, I represent a large swath of geography in the Northwest corner, most of which I share with Senator Minor. So looking forward to working with him on a number of things. And um, I'm happy to be here and to continue in the really good work that this committee did last term, uh, focusing on the things, you know, the bigger issues I think is, is a critical thing for us to do at any event, but I think this year in particular, getting us to focus on the really big picture stuff will be critical. So thanks for, for glad to be back and uh, thanks for your leadership. Thank you, Representative Horn. Um, next on my list is uh, Senator Alex Kasser, who unfortunately couldn't join us today uh, due to an emergency. So our thoughts are with uh, Senator Kasser, who's a new member of the committee, uh, but I know uh, a uh, staunch environmentalist, so that's great. Um, and next up is Senator Julie Kushner, also a good friend, a former vice chair of this committee and returning member. Hi, hey, Senator. To Madam Chair and and welcome to uh, well welcome to, it's exciting to have a new uh, woman chairing from the the House although uh, uh, I have to say it was a fantastic experience being vice chair of this committee and working so closely with uh, the leadership and um, it, it was really a very uh, it, it broadened my understanding of environmental issues in a way that I so appreciate and will carry with me and. I'm thrilled to be back on the committee, uh, working side by side with all of you to really make sure we're doing everything we can to protect our valuable resources in our environment. And um, I represent the 24th district and that includes Sherman, New Fairfield, all of Danbury and part of Bethel. And so I share Bethel with Senator Haskell and it's great that we're here together. Uh, and I agree, I concur with Senator Minor. It's really fabulous that we have so many representatives and senators that uh, that are here uh, fighting for to protect our lake, uh, Candlewood Lake. It's, it's really important. And thank you for mentioning that. And I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you, Senator. Uh, next up is Representative uh, David Michel, returning member to the committee. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, it's with a great pleasure I'm returning to this committee. It's my number one committee. I would like to first say thank you uh, to Mike D'Amico for his amazing service and his uh, genuine devotion to the environment and also welcoming Dorinda uh, Bohr, Chair Bohr, uh, to, uh, in his replacement, who I'm uh, also convinced that is, is also a champion for the environment. Um, I represent Stamford's uh, South End, Downtown and Chipan. Uh, which is coastal, um, and uh, so I'm I'm, um, I'm going to be looking forward to work on uh, fighting uh, uh, against climate change and ensuring we protect the ecosystems and biodiversity, uh, which help regulate our climate. Um, I'm also looking forward to um, also work on uh, protection of biodiversity and, and wildlife, uh, as I'm also the chair of the Animal Advocacy Caucus for the state of Connecticut. Um, we haven't had our first caucus yet, uh, and um, I, you know, I, I look forward to uh, working hard on environmental racism and environmental justice as well. Uh, I look forward to uh, banning more plastics, uh, PFAS if possible, non-organic pesticides, and more in order to help protect our public health and environment. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Um, and next is a uh, longtime member, a longtime environmental advocate and uh, former chair, I believe, of this committee at one point, Representative Mary Mashinsky. Hi there, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm a former chair, uh, Representative Mashinsky from Wallingford. And uh, I spent a lot of my chairmanship working on solid waste. And now it's back. We have to work <laughs> on it again. So uh, my condolences to the current co-chairs who have to figure out solid waste again and recycling. But we'll do it. This is a good committee. It's my absolute favorite committee. 
and uh, we will find a way through this. Uh, the other issues that are very important for me to work on are uh, climate change and also clean water. Thanks, Madam Chair. Thank you, Representative. And next on my list is Representative Tom O'Day, who is a returning member. We don't know if I saw him on, however. I don't think so. Um, okay, and next is returning member and environmental champion, Representative Tom. Good morning, everybody. Um, this is such a great crew and I'm, I'm so excited to roll up sleeves and get to work. Uh, I represent four towns along the Connecticut River, Chester, Deep River, Essex, and Haddam, where hydrilla is an increasingly serious problem. I hope to be, hopefully we can work on that. Um, environmental justice is very important to me and although it's not before this committee of cognizance, I have been trying to get a climate education bill through the Education Committee for a couple of years, and I would love any support on that. So um, looking forward to making great change. And, and I think like all of you, I'm very concerned that the environmental causes will take a back seat during the time of COVID. And I think we have to fight really hard so that that doesn't happen. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Palm. And uh, next on my list is a good friend and member of my delegation and new member of the legislature on the whole, uh, Representative John Michael Parker. Welcome. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Chair Boer. Um, I'm so excited to be here with you and with my new colleagues. I'm John Michael Parker, and I am from the 101st District, which includes Madison and Durham. And in Madison, we have the wonderful Hammond Asset State Park. Excited to work with you on all of the issues based in our state. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. And next up is another uh, longtime member, returning member, and we're happy to have back Representative John Piscopo. Representative Piscopo. Thank you, Madam Chair. It's good to be here and good to be on this committee. Very important committee. I, I represent the 76th district. That's roughly uh, the Naugatuck River over to the Farmington River with a bunch of uh, state forests and farms in between. Thank you, happy to be here. Thank you, Representative. Um, and next is a uh, returning member, Representative Rosa Rabindis. Representative Rabindis, are you here? Yes, good morning, Madam Chair, how are you? Uh, State Representative Rosa Rabimbis, I represent the 70th District, which consists of Naugatuck. It's a pleasure to uh, serve on this committee. Look forward to serving with the new leadership as well as returning leadership. And I also just wanted to let you know that I did receive a message from State Representative Craig Fishbein, who's ranking member now on judiciary and unfortunately gives his regrets he couldn't pop into this one. Um, as he's serving on that one. And um, also State Representative Tom O'Day is currently in the judiciary as I'm also managing between three committees. So um, again, my apologies in that regard and look forward to serving. I appreciate that representative. Yeah, wh when I heard uh, judiciary was going on, I suspected some of our members were there. So I appreciate you uh, bringing that to light and we certainly miss them. We'll all have to get used to this juggle. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, Representative Reyes next on my list. Welcome representative. Thank you, Madam Chair, and uh, thank you for the opportunity. Geraldo Reyes, State Representative from the great city of Waterbury. Um, wanted to first uh, thank uh, Chairman uh, Chairman uh, D'Amico and uh, Senator Cohen for helping me and uh, championing through uh, a, a, a what I call a start to the environmental justice uh, battle that will continue in this legislative session. My uh, This is one of my main committees. My focus is on uh, assisting and making the environment a little better than what I found it when I leave. And uh, that includes the elimination of all those hazardous materials that are not doing the environment any, any good. And looking forward to working with uh, everybody on the committee, welcoming the new members, and in particular, my good friend, Senator Miner. Okay, thank you, Representative. And uh, next up is also a returning member, uh, Representative Kevin Ryan. Welcome, Kevin, Representative. Thank you. Uh, it's great to be back. Oh, I think you just went on mute, 
representative. Can you unmute again? There you go. Yeah, most people like it when I'm on mute. Um, I represent the one. Th <laughs> thank you, Mike, Michael. And I was just going to say something nice, nice about Mike D'Amico, but I won't bother now. Um, who's originally from my district, quite honestly. I represent Bowser, Montville, and Knott. I've been on this committee for a number of years, going back to when I had a larger district that was the most agricultural district in the state. But under redistricting, that changed, but I still maintain an interest in the important elements of farming and agriculture in this state and as part of our economy, as well as the other environmental issues associated with it. So I look forward to a very productive session. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Uh, next up, a uh, new member of the legislature and of the committee, and I believe representing a shoreline town, as I do, Representative Frank Smith. Welcome. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I don't know how well my connection is here, so I, bear I with can me. hear you. Uh, yep, um, you sound Representative good. Frank Smith. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman. Can you hear me? Thank you. Yes, I can hear you. Can, okay. can you say what, what district you represent? Yeah, I'm from the yeah. 118th district uh, serving the southern part of Milford. Um, I'm a first time, this is my uh, first time in the legislature, honored to be part of the environmental committee, very interested in environmental affairs and local government. Um, Milford has the longest uh, shoreline in the state. So uh, things involving uh, Long Island Sound, I sit uh, probably about three or 400 yards from the confluence of the Housatonic River and Long Island Sound. So environmental uh, issues are of, uh, of great concern to us here in Milford and uh, look forward to working with all of you uh, in that regard in the coming session. Great, thank you so much, Representative, welcome. Uh, and next up is returning member, Representative David Wilson. I saw him. Okay, I found the mute button. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's so good to be back. Um, I represent the 66th district, which starts way up in Warren, uh, includes Litchfield, Morris, Bethlehem, and Woodbury. Um, and I'd be remiss to um, not remind us all since we've had um, a bunch of conversation about our lakes here this morning that Bantam Lake in Bantam, Connecticut, which is part of the town of Litchfield, is the largest natural lake in the state of Connecticut. And Senator Miner and I uh, and uh, Representative Piscopo, of course, have um, very uh, strong interest in, in protecting um, the environment uh, in and around Bantam Lake. Um, I also um, notice here, of course, the state of Connecticut has great uh, rural areas and farms um, and we have great forests and uh, protecting those areas and looking out for those areas. We also have the Sportsman's Caucus and the Rural Caucus. Um, and, uh, you know, if I, if I had a hope for this session um, and that, that hope would be that uh, to the absolute best that we possibly could, we need to preserve uh, the opportunity for uh, public hearing and public input on any and all of the legislation that we'll be reviewing. So I would advocate strongly for including the public um, as absolute best we possibly can. And I, and I thank all of my fellow members of this committee for the time that it takes um, and the homework that we all have to do to understand the issues that uh, we're making very important decisions on. So thank you and I'm glad to be back. Thank you, Representative. And, and you bring up a, a good point in terms of caucuses as well. There are a lot of caucuses um, of the Connecticut General Assembly that meet and um, talk a lot about issues that pertain directly to this committee. So I'd encourage the membership of this committee to reach out to some of the leaders of the Sportsman Caucus, the Rural Caucus, and um, I'm a co-chair of the Coastal Caucus as well, which deals with the waterways of the state um, and get involved um, because there's often informational hearings and uh, you know we discuss a lot of the legislative proposals that come through this committee uh, in greater detail. So um, thank you, Representative Wilson for bringing that up. Um, and not last but not least, I should say, a returning member, Representative Phil Young. Uh, good morning, Madam Chair. Thank you for having us all. Um, great meeting. Uh, 
Uh, my name is Phil Young. I'm from the 120th district. From those at Stratford, I serve with Joe Gresco. Uh, for those of you who did not know, I had some health issues last week, so I was remiss on meeting any of the new people. Um, so I'm actually up at the legislature now, getting into the new office, everything like that. So everything should be all set very quickly. Um, this year, I am no longer the vice chair of public health. So now you're gonna have to deal with me much more on environment. So I'm looking forward to the challenges and I'm looking forward to working with you all and getting to meet you and know you all. So thank you very much and uh, we'll talk soon. Great, thanks representative. We'll be looking forward to seeing your face a little bit more around these parts. Um, and with that, I'm going to turn it back over to my co-chair to introduce our fantastic um, committee staff who without them, there's just no way that we would keep things ticking and running as smoothly as uh, they always do. And um, as well as talk a little bit about the, the rules uh, as they pertain to um, the legislature going forward and, and our committee work. So uh, Madam Co-Chair. Sure, sure. And thank you to everybody for your introductions and glad to hear Representative Young is feeling better uh, because we are gonna take you up on your offer to help us. Um, so as Senator Cohen said, we would not be able to accomplish what we accomplished if it wasn't for the great work and the significant uh, lift that our committee staff conducts for us. So. Um, I made some notes to make sure I didn't forget anybody, but uh, I want to first recognize Gaia McDermott, who is our new committee clerk. Uh, where are you? There you are. Um, hey there. So everybody was used to uh, Robin. We all just took a breath when he said he was moving on to his next chapter, but Gaia stepped in and hasn't missed a beat and has done an amazing job. So thank you for all that you do. We look forward to working with you. Steve Smith, who's our assistant committee clerk, Hello, he's sending in the chat. Hello to all. Well, hello to you, Steve, and welcome. And Brad, everybody knows Brad, our Legislative Commission Office, our LCO attorney. And I've learned through the years that he's like E.F. Hutton. When Brad speaks, we all listen, including myself. So thank you for all you do, Brad. Marcy Ritzik, who is our Office of Fiscal Analysis, our OFA, our money woman. Where are you? Hi. Welcome back. Marcy, Kristen Miller from the Office of Legislative Research who provides significant information to all of us so that we can, um, we can uh, draft and uh, really understand what other states are doing, what we've introduced in the past and what some of the rules are around legislation. So thank you to Kristen and then Janet Kaminsky LeDuc who is also from the Office of Legislative Research and provides significant support to all of us, not just at session time, but throughout the entire year. So thank you for all you do. And uh, also wanna acknowledge our policy analysts who are not on this meeting, but provide significant support to us. And with that, I want to um, read our rules, our Zoom rules for going forward. And you will receive this, each of you, but um, it's important for us to acknowledge them publicly. And before I do, I just wanna preface it by re-emphasizing what Senator Miner said about um, the workload this year and, and just ask for everybody's patience. So last year, significant work was, was performed to get legislation over the finish line. And we know that we all, um, you know, when, when the Capitol closed on March, so did our legislation stop. And we do not have the opportunity to pick up legislation where we left off according to our legislative rules. We need to start from scratch. So we will be reviewing last year's legislation as members introduce it. We have a number of bills that will be introduced this legislative session. So basically we have two years worth of bills that we have to get in in a limited time because we are going to be virtual and because we have the challenge of drafting the language. So patience with each other, um, we need to prioritize and, and we ask the public for patience as well as we as we learn this together um, and we will not short on any public input. So our Zoom guidelines for our meetings will be, our meetings will be conducted at a slower pace to accommodate the quality of the live stream and to preserve the integrity of the vote. All participants will be muted until required to speak. Holding down your space bar will unmute you quickly. Members must raise their hand 
uh, their virtual hand to signify desire to speak and wait to be recognized. To raise your hand, open participant pane at the bottom of your Zoom panel and click raise hand. For roll call votes, committee staff will visually authenticate the voter. Members are requested to state their name and vote. For voice votes, the chair will announce the following. Please prepare yourself for a voice vote by unmuting your microphone. Try to log on to the meetings a few minutes earlier to allow for time to admit all members to the meeting so that we can start on time and make sure we have any troubleshooting ahead of the meeting so that the public is not waiting for us to figure out our technical difficulties. Use of um, the emoticons uh, like clapping hands, thumbs up, celebrate that are on the bottom of your screen, those are not allowed um, for our Zoom sessions. They're distracting. Use of chat, either public or private, is not allowed as well. All chat records are saved by default and therefore could be subject to FOIable requests and possibly visible on other platforms such as YouTube or CTN. So we will send these rules out. We ask that you adhere to them. We know that you know we're all going to make a few mistakes along the way, but we will figure it out and we will figure it out together. Um, and before I hand it over, I neglected to say where I was from. I was so busy introducing everybody and congratulating everybody. So I hail from the great city of West Haven, which also has a lake. We have three rivers that flow through our city um, and empty out into the Sound, Long Island Sound. And our claim to fame is that we do have the longest usable recreational coastline in the Sound, in the state. So with that, I will turn it back over to my Senate chair. Thanks, and I and I actually don't think I said where I was from either. That's what happens when you're uh, chairing, right? Um, so I represent the 12th Senate District, and uh, that includes the towns of Madison, Guilford, Brantford, North Brantford, uh, Durham, and Killingworth, obviously uh, representing several coastal towns as well as um, a few rural towns that have a lot of agricultural history and continue to have um, farms that are growing and thriving. Also, Madison, obviously home to Hammond Asset State Park. Uh, we also have other state parks in the district. So um, just a, a lot of, uh, it's just a, a district that's rich in environmental concerns. Um, so um, I'm, I'm always thrilled to um, be a part of this committee and and uh, the good work that we all do. Um, so I, before we adjourn, and I'll entertain a motion in just a minute, I did see that Senator Slap has been able to join us. And, and Senator Slap is uh, Senate Vice Chair. I just wondered if you wanted to introduce yourself and, and say a couple words. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I apologize for my tardiness, like all of you have been you know, running around in a bunch of different directions. But um, new to the committee, thrilled to be um, joining all of you in helping to um, protect and enhance uh, our environment. I'm the um, you know, senator from the fifth um, district. So that's uh, West Hartford, most of Farmington, all of Burlington, I share with Representative Piscopo, who I see also on this committee. Um, and then a sliver, good to see you. And then a sliver of uh, Bloomfield, the Western section. So um, anyways, happy to be here and uh, look forward to working with all of you. Great. And with that, I think I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Senator Cohen, next. I think, um, I'm sorry. Oh, next I, meeting, next meeting. Yeah, next that meeting is say? this yeah. Friday. So we wanted to give heads up to all the members. Uh, a notice will be going out tomorrow. We'll be screening the bills that we received already today, maybe into the night. Um, but we will be getting back together on Friday. So look for that invite. Yes, thank you for that, uh, Madam Co-Chair. And uh, now with that, <laughs> I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Anyone out there? Thank you. Second. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Any opposed? <laughs> All right. Have a good day, everyone. Be well. <laughs>